Wireless charging seems great. Plug one thing in, and then another thing in, and out of nowhere, power. But how the heck does electricity get from the wall into our devices? You're probably watching this video via a device that has a battery, laptops, phones, even toothbrushes, though not this new watch everyone's talking about for some reason. All of these things need charging, and for now we're still using wires and plugs for this. Inductive charging, or wireless charging, isn't new. It's been around since the early 90s in electric toothbrushes and for surgically implanted devices such as artificial hearts. You've even heard of this in pop culture in the late 1800s. Tesla was allegedly able to power light bulbs with no wires and claimed to be able to transmit power from one location to another with no wires. To make it work relies on simple physics. Electricity running through a wire creates an electromagnetic field, or flux. With this principle, a coil of wire, a magnet and a battery, you can make it generate electricity by spinning the magnet in the coil. Wireless inductive charging gets its name from the magnet field interaction, called induction. Inside of the charging pad and the charging device are tiny coils of wire. When the device's coils come within a short distance, their flux will interact with the flux in the pad. It will then charge the electrons and charge the battery. But the problem is efficiency, you waste a lot of time and power filling up the two coils and letting them talk to each other. It's so much better just to plug them straight in. The future of wireless charging is unclear, it seems like a great idea, but it's still going to be a short distance system for a while. Thanks to Tim over at Wireless Phone Chargers for sponsoring this video, you can purchase your very own wireless charging kits on their website at www.wirelessphonechargers.co.uk.